Welcome to VTU Physics. Here in this video, we are going to cover the topic called optical fiber sensors. This is the last topic which we are going to cover in module number three, that is optical fiber sensors. With this, let's play the intro. Before that, I would like to request you to subscribe to my channel, share with your friends and don't forget to comment your feedback in the comment section. With this, let's play the intro. Thank you. Welcome to video physics. In this video, we are going to cover the topic called optical fiber sensors. So this is the last topic which we can see in the optical fiber. As we already covered the previous topics in previous videos and this video is according to latest syllabus 21 PHY 12 bar 22. And this is the first time we are going to see this concept in video syllabus so let us see what is optical fiber sensors optical fiber sensors are the sensors which is going to sense the perturbation which is happening around the medium so what is that meaning of perturbation perturbation is nothing but disturbance which is created by some elements so that must be sense and that sensing ability will be depends on the sensors right after that the communication must be needed or the sensors whenever sense the perturbation that information need to be sent to the detectors and according to the perturbation the type of perturbation it will react that detector so let us see the three important one is optical source second one is modulation zone and last one is optical detector so if we start from optical source then modulation zone then optical detector or we can start from optical detector to modulation zone and optical source what is that see one is transmitting end and another one is receiving it so optical source is the LED light emitting diode or a laser which will transmit the light through optical fiber to the modulation zone where there is a perturbation is happening for example it may be changes in optical intensity changes in phase polarization wavelength and any kind of spectral disturbers so after that whatever the modulation zone disturb the situation and that disturbance need to be detected by an optical detector by using receiving fiber so this is what we call it as optical fiber sensors Idrally, Optical fiber source and the inner laser atwa LED light and transmit madute. That's why we call it as transmitting end. So modulation zone, whatever kind of disturbance is creating in the medium, that to be sense. Yava kind of disturbance create acta nadana now till kutubi. But in the case of modulation zone, either it may be optical intensity or change sabudu. Phases in other change of bodu, polarization changes of bodu, any kind of wavelength. So it depends on yava type of the now perturbation sense madlike or detector in iti devi, our type of the perturbation create i to andre modulation zone alia create agate and after detection the receiver end will be receive that kind of detect sensors. So E communication from transmitting end to receiving end and modulation zone everything will be everything will be transmitted so all information transmit optical fiber and use and 
first of all this optical fiber sensors is mainly divided into two types one is intrinsic sensor second one is extrinsic sensor or active sensor or passive sensor so let us see one by one as i said the types of sensors will be there in your semester exam 4 plus 4 8 marks question or 3 plus 3 6 marks question anyone or else worst case scenario you can get any one of this so in the semester exam he may ask you to write down the intrinsic semiconductor or oh, sorry intrinsic sensors construction and working with the merits and demerits similarly he may ask you to write down extrinsic sensors only with merits and demerit so let us see one by one we will starting with intrinsic semiconductor intrinsic sensors that is active sensor so what kind of intrinsic sensors are there it is a physical parameter is based on directly acts on a fiber itself to produce the changes in the transmitting transmission characteristics so let us see the example yeah with the example irutte first of all phase or polarization sensors nothing but temperature pressure sensors so what kind of principle it will follow it is the based on the principle interference between the beams emerging out from the reference fiber and the fiber which is kept in the environment this is the principle which is going to be followed by intrinsic semi intrinsic sensors so so let us see the merits and demerits then we will see the construction and working so merits only band bitu first of all it doesn't depends on the uh, <coughs> radiation or any kind of clouds light or any snow yavde area dinda it may passes very easily second one is sunlight independent agirutte to operate day and night that is the merits what about demerits the pulse power is mostly low and can be influenced or interfered by other radiation sources so alli aagtiruvanta interference can be influenced by any kind of other radiation sources these are the demerits in the temperature present sensors okay so that's it merits and demerits of the intrinsic sensors so let us see the construction and working of the intrinsic sensors so let us see the construction first for that we need laser source which we is going to produce a light next one is split next one is beam splitter l1 l2 lens and l3 lens here we have two mirror which is going to reflected back to this lens and ultimately we will get interference pattern over here so let us see the laser source will produce the laser light and this light will be splitted by using beam splitter 50% of light is go to l1 lens and 50% of light will be reflected back to l2 lens after that the lens will concentrate or here we are using concave lens so due to that reason here we are getting single beam both side so here we have one is one optical fiber which is kept in the medium and another optical fiber which we kept in the reference section so whatever the information or whatever the changes will happen in the medium after that that will be compared by the reference medium and ultimately we will create a interference pattern over here depending upon the interference pattern we will going to measure what kind of changes are happening inside the medium with respect to pressure and temperature this is the working and construction of a intrinsic sensors that's it for intrinsic sensor so let us see the another type of 
sensors which we call it as extrinsic sensors nothing but displacement sensors here what is the principle for the displacement sensors light is sent through the transmitting fiber and it is made to fall on the moving target after that the reflected light will be or the reflected light from the target is sensed by the detector with respect to intensity of reflected light the displacement of the target is measured so for this we need a laser source which will produce the laser light after that that laser light make to fall on a moving target after that that moving target will create a reflected light then the reflected light will be detected by a using detector so here we are going to find out the distance between distance of a moving target from the detector source so here we need two kind of optical fiber one is transmitting fiber and another one is receiving fiber this is the construction and working of a displacement sensors okay so laser source ena create madutte laser light ena create madutte ee laser light bandittu moving target mel bilutte so moving target mel bidd mele adar the reflected light enagutte receiving optical fiber through mukantara detector mele bilutte so illi enagta ide if the time taken so illi time estu togolutte anodr mele the distance will be measured so moving target na now distance in a major mode this is the displacement sensors let us see the merits and demerits of the sensors what kind of sensors this is the extrinsic sensors so first of all what is the mes uh, merits passive sensors do not emit energy they rely on energy that is pre existing in the environment that is the merit and second one is demerit they relying on transmitter whose activity might be detected with an equipment so first of all if the detector also moving at the same speed with the target then it is little bit difficult to find out the distance between target and detector so due to that reason that is the demerit right and that's it this is a very short video i try to make a very short video on the optical sensors if you like my explanation i request you to subscribe to my channel share with your friends with this i am signing off thank you